Gemut. I'm CEO and co-founder of Wine Loans. Wine Loans is a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform based on blockchain technology and we focus on Latin America. We choose blockchain technology because of three main advantages. One of them is scalability. We launched our product six months ago and we already have users from a lot of countries in Latin America. Mexico, Colombia, Venezuela, Argentina. The second advantage is the low transaction cost. We reduce the cost in comparison to the traditional financial system in a 30% thanks to the blockchain. And thirdly, we can access to unbanked people. People who don't have a bank account can enter to our platform and ask for a loan or invest money. There is a huge problem in Latin America, which is financial inclusion. Four out of 10 people save money in Latin America, but 75% do it informally. On the other hand, three out of 10 people borrow money in Latin America, but 50% do it with friends and family. But what are the reasons of the informality in Latin America? One of them is that 49% don't, of the population in Latin America don't have a bank account, but they have a smartphone. Secondly, the banks have, uh, have high administrative costs and people is reluctant to go to the bank, but there is digital money. And banks don't have any information about people who don't have a bank account, but we have a lot of information in social networks. We can link Facebook, LinkedIn, Mercado Libre, Twitter, and we can gather a lot of information about people in order to do a score. And last but, uh, uh, but not least, there is lack of confidence in institutions, but the collaborative economy is growing very fast. So that we create wine loans. Wine loans allow borrowers to tailor their loans to fit their needs. So a borrower enters to our platform, fill, a, fill their profile, and they can choose the currency of the loan, which, which is in Bitcoin, in dollars, or in Argentinian pesos now, and they can choose the amount of money, the length of the loan, the, the quantity of payment, and the interest rate. We can structure the loan for them, and we organize the payments in a calendar. So it's very easy, clear, and fast for borrowers. On the other hand, lenders can choose the profit and risk they are willing to bear. We have a list of, of the loans there, and the investor has have two tools in order to choose the best loan to invest. One of them is the credit rating. We create a credit rating based on traditional validations, which is ID, telephone number, uh, credit cards they have, bank account, salary, education. And we add to this a second model, which I really like, which is social networks. So we have much more information than traditional financial institutions. And the second tool is loan qualification, which is a simple trade-off between credit rating and interest rate. Our revenue model is very simple. We charge 5% for each funded loan, and secondly, we have a spread between interest rate because we have funds in, in which people can invest, and then we borrow this money, so we have an interest rate spread, which is 10% in dollars. The peer-to-peer -peer lending is, grow is growing exponentially. There are a lot of players in the peer-to-peer -peer lending in the world, and Cooper estimates a market of 150 billion in 2025, but there are a few using blockchain technology. There are only three in the world. But what is interesting is that there are only one in Latin America, which is wine loans. Our traction in the last six months, it was incredible. We funded loans for more than 70K. We funded 130 loans, and the APR for lender, it was the 9%. Our team expertise in it has expertise in different fields finance, developing, communication. We have an advisor in cryptocurrencies, an advisor in strategy, and we won several awards. The user experience is incredible, and they are writing every day in our social networks. And we appear in the newspaper. We appear in the, like a fintech, startup, 
fintech startups who which take roots in South Florida. And there is a, a really good news in, in, in Argentina, which is according to one of the main newspapers, a financial newspaper in Argentina, we talk about a bar who can open the door thanks to a Wine Loans loan. This is our next future. One of the most important things is that we are launching next week a, a micro lending mobile app. We have a partnership with more than 300,000 point of sales in Argentina. So people will have the possibility to ask for a loan in 10 minutes with the smartphone and they will be able to withdraw the money in this point of sales. Secondly, we want to add more currencies, exchange, we, want, we need to change partnerships around Latin America, uh, and investment tools and social guarantees in order to increase the confidence in the platform. We have raised 100K in January 15 of friends and family and we developed the peer-to-peer -peer lending platform. Secondly, last month we have raised a seed round of 300k. Uh, we we developed the micro lending mobile app, and the next ride, the, the next round, it will be in September 16th, and we were looking, we are looking for 1.5 million in order to scale in Latin America. And what we are looking for is advice or people, institution who help us to formalize informality. Thank you very much. Beginning. Yeah. So just walk through the slides really quick. I need to design some slides, but okay. You've got a week. Huh. Uh, Not really. Back. Not really. <laughs> More? Yeah. Go back to the beginning here. How long was it? Oh, I forgot. Hold on. I forgot to time it. Sorry, right. I'm doing a terrible job of timing today. Uh, okay, forward. Forward. I like this. That makes sense. Uh, yes. These screenshots, I know they're screenshots, and there's like four of these slides in a row. They're really hard to read from back here, and this doesn't even make sense. Like, come stand here. Okay. Like it says, the loan is zero. I can't see what any of those sliders say. Uh, okay. Just walk, stand here, and then walk through these four slides. Even the text on the left side, it's yeah, yeah it's, it's so yeah, you need to make soft. Yeah. yeah, everything's soft. So I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, but if I change the image uh, and make it in stronger, is it okay? You yeah. Think that it makes sense? Yeah. Okay. Or just zoom it, just do one week of the calendar. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, don't try to fit the whole thing. Okay. Forward. Yeah, maybe just pick like two two people rather than yeah. six or seven people. Yeah. Okay. Forward. But I think that the pictures from people is, is good to, yeah. to have here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I would just pick like a row of two of them rather than. Okay. Uh, Forward. That's okay. Forward. That's okay. Forward. I, I like this story. That's good that you're the Latin America one. This new. Perfect. In the morning. Today. <laughs> okay. I think you have. I think you might want to show a chart here. Because you a have chart? a chart about the lending. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. use some of the data that you just got. Uh huh. Because those charts look great. Great, you know what I mean? Versus this doesn't make sense. It doesn't say that there's growth. Okay. You know what I mean? Whereas I, what I really want to see yeah. is I want to see that growth. Yeah, growth. I tried to say it, but yeah, you I know, can show, show it. Show me and tell me and show me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Forward. And what, what do you think that is the most important uh, KPI? It's the funded loans to 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 show the graph. Yeah, I don't know. Pick the graph that looks okay. the. I don't know. I don't know. Is I re does repeat customers do customers? This? Yeah. Do repeat repeat lenders. Maybe. Okay. okay. I, I will choose someone. Uh, okay. There's a lot of stuff on that slide. I don't quite. Yeah. Yeah. And this, like, 
Uh, go back one. I, I imagine that says good things, but I can't see it from yeah. here. But it's not that important. Go forward. That's good. I like the press. Go forward. This is a good talk slide. The, the, it should be D-E-C for December in English. I think that's December in Spanish. It's D-I-C. Okay. That's true. Uh, forward. This is good. I think it tells a good... Yeah. I have to work on the design of it, but the idea is... Right. I would use the check marks. So I would check P2P Learning Platform. I would check... Yeah, I don't have to check the last don't one. Don't check the last yeah. one. Yeah. yeah and Micro Lending Mobile App looks like two things. So if it's one thing, see if you can get it on one line. Or indented. See how Scale Latin America, America is indented. In the same line? Well, see how Micro Lending and Mobile App, Mobile App is not indented. So it looks like Micro Lending and Mobile App are two different things. Okay. So just make it look like one thing and yeah. check it. Okay. okay. And then I would, I would have a slide with your ask. And again, I still feel like maybe your ask is people in the finance or credit rating industry yeah. or... Yeah, I, I tried to say here that I, 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 I say... I know, but I would, I would have...